So with the A case, we've already covered three reasons why a word which was a dhamma is now a fatha. One of those reasons is if it's the object of a verb. So here we can see that cheese is the object of this verb, which is why it's in the A case. Yeah. This word, even though it ends in a fatha, is not in the A case. Yeah, it's a verb. Verbs don't showcase like this. Yeah. The second reason why a dhamma will change into a fatha is if it's a mubtada and an inna comes before it, yeah? The third reason is the opposite. So if kana comes along, then it affects the khabar. The fourth reason why something will be in the A case is if it's an adverb. So back to this example. So jayidan is an adverb. It's modifying the rest of the sentence. So usually in English, we say that adverbs modify the verb, yeah? How is he running? Quickly, how is he eating? Slowly, etc. Yeah. But in Arabic, we say that adverbs they modify the rest of the sentence. So here we can see he found the cheese. How did he find the cheese? He found the cheese. Excellent. Yeah. Um. So it's modified the sentence. Um. And other examples of adverbs are something like غدًا, which means tomorrow, and اليوم, which means today. So here you can see that an adverb doesn't necessarily have to have two fathas, it can have a one fatha as well, yeah? One exception to this rule is the word MC, which means yesterday. It ends in a kisra, yeah? It's just an exception to the rule, but it's still an adverb.